Greetings, royal family, and welcome to another message by the Honorable Yudhe Wavhe Beit Noon Sophie. Yudhe Wavhe. Now, royal family, this message was taught many years ago by the Honorable Yudhe Wavhe and is being presented to you today by Yahweh's royal priesthood. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at Yahweh's royal priesthood. www.yahweh144 zero 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 dot com and also royal family join us at the university of yahweh where classes are designed for the godhead visit us at www.universityofyahweh.org also, Royal Family, listen to our weekly podcasts by the University of Yahweh, found on most podcast platforms. We look forward to you being there as well. Enjoy, Royal Family. When the suffering and hardships from my being in slavery reached a climax in Egypt, the compassion of Yahweh was upon us. And Yahweh heard our affliction. I'm saying that the suffering and the hardships of my people in America has caused Yahweh to hear your moan and your groan. And out of Yahweh's compassion, I come. Because I've heard my people's affliction. And Yahweh is doing today what he did in the past. When we were in Egypt, Yahweh set in motion a divine preordained plan to redeem us. Why? Because we were his chosen people. And he set in a divine plan to redeem us from our captors. We were unable to redeem ourselves from our captors. And we, the so-called blacks of America, have been in the hands of our captors for over 435 years now. And we've been unable to redeem ourselves from our captivity. So you're in need of a Passover today, just as you were in need of a Passover in Egypt. Our redemption was initiated with an event called Passover and concluded with the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Yahweh showed Pharaoh many signs and wonders. Why? To convince Pharaoh to let us go. Today, I'm showing Pharaoh of America many signs and wonders. Yahweh is showing many signs and wonders. You are looking at weather like you've never seen it before. And they should make it national headlines and do movies of the destruction Yahweh is raining down upon this country. And you who are from all over America can bear witness that Yahweh is doing devastating work in nature. And I told all of America and the world on West 57th Street that if you mess with me, I'll show you. You'll find out. Yahweh controls nature. And Yahweh is doing a devastating destruction on this country. Many signs and wonders. But as in the past, Pharaoh would not submit to Yahweh's command as brought to him by Moses, 
So this modern day Pharaoh is not submitting. It says in the heart of Pharaoh was hardened in the past. Neither would Pharaoh let us, the children of Israel, go as Yahweh has spoken by Moses. Let's go to Exodus chapter 9, verse 35. Read. Exodus chapter 9, verse 35. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened. Neither would he let the children of Israel go, as the Lord Yudhe had spoken by Moses. So the hardening of Pharaoh's heart and mindset against letting us go was not his own idea. Alone. It wasn't his all alone. Yahweh had something to do with it. So Yahweh hardened his heart, caused him to say, well, I'm not going to do it. I refuse to submit. I want you to know emphatically that Bush knows I'm here. Reagan knows I'm here. Your senators and congressmen of America know I'm here. I know they know I'm here because they have sent me books and letters thanking me for writing to them, informing them of Yahweh <laughs> and what he's doing and why. So I have concrete proof they know I'm here. I made sure of it. But they're not running to let us go. I'm telling them why they're suffering, why the country is going through hell. It's because you're holding my people, the so-called blacks of America, and won't let them go. And the reason that Yahweh would harden Pharaoh's heart was because he wanted to show forth more power. See, I, I'm not through showing what I can do. <laughs> what I'm showing right now is a sign and a wonder. To have five hotels in this town, have a hotel in downtown Atlanta. I'm talking about downtown Atlanta, in the middle of downtown. When you draw a circle around it, it's in the center of downtown. I'm talking about right in the middle. These are signs and wonders and have lodges across the country now, building lodges across America. Hmm? Beautifying places where we meet all across America. Signs, wonders. People are wondering about Yahweh, what? So, so now, my name is becoming as prominent as other so-called leaders, you know, uh, dead and alive. <laughs> Mm -hmm. while I live. And I'm the only one carrying the name of God in his forehead, inside and out. <laughs> only one. Now I have a book coming out, of, I'll tell you up front, right now. If you can't afford it, you, you need to stay in poverty. <laughs> and I set a high price on it because it's valuable priceless. Only rich-minded men and women deserve it. But this book is going to turn the world around. It's called From Poverty to Riches. It's going to shake the whole planet up. All I'm going to say is you're going to want it. I know you're going to want it. I'm talking about Passover tonight. Passover was the final plague of a series of 10 plagues that Yahweh placed on Egypt. So I'm causing plagues to be placed on America in a series. You have an earthquake caused by Yahweh. Volcano eruptions caused by Yahweh. Floods all over the earth. Rainstorms all over the earth. Snowstorms all over the earth. Wind just decide to blow it 100 miles an hour for no cause. Just jump up and start blowing 100 miles an hour. 
can't find out where it starts from or why. Just destroying stuff. All kinds of diseases, all kinds of sickness, plagues, drugs, plague. Snow is a plague. There's so much snow, they call cocaine snow. <laughs> Plagues. All because I'm here after you, the so-called black man of America, first. That's why all this is going on. And when you study their history, you find that Pharaoh made many promises that if that he would liberate the Hebrew people if Yahweh would just ease up. And each time Yahweh eased up the plague, he went on back to doing what he was doing, treating us like he always treated. See, Pharaoh's known to do that. And that's the way this man is in America. The American government is known to give you a little bit and take it back. Make you a lot of promises, and then he fails you on every hand. Huh? Now your set asides are gone. Voters' right bill is dead. Affirmative action is gone. Reverse discrimination is in. Skinheads are in. Neo Nazis are in. Huh? White supremacist cults have raised up all across the country is in. They beat you up on the college campus. Hmm? Burn you out the neighborhood. How many heard about these things? Everybody heard? So you're not free, are you? And you got leaders, false leaders running all across America, raising hell, just talking, 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 talking. No solution. You don't need an emotional speech. You need to learn how to be a ruler. A governor, not of Texas, but a governor of yourself. Govern your own home. Govern your neighborhood. Govern your cities. You already own the cities if you were in the Nazi Yahweh. You already own it. You live in it. Why don't you rule it? I'm ready for you to rule it. Anybody ready? If you're ready, then you, you get serious. See, I'm real serious. Everything I'm doing, I prove I'm serious. Pharaoh kept hardening his heart. Yahweh hardened the heart of Pharaoh so he could show his power, show his sovereignty, show his authority over the rulers of Egypt. And so that we may teach our children of Yahweh's eminence, that we might teach our children of Yahweh's might. We have the power in the past, which indicates to us Yahweh has the same power now. My people have just been praying to the enemy's God. How can you expect the God of your oppressor to set you free from oppression? Never thought about it, did you? I mean, it just didn't cross your mind. The, the, the people, the, the religion that you've been worshiping in comes from your oppressor, originated by your oppressor, formed and created by your oppressor. Your oppressor was practicing the religion that you're in when he brought you here and put you in slavery. So how are you going to get out from under slavery using his religion? You haven't. The proof is you have not. After 435 years, you have not. So I'm here to set you free. I'm after Pharaoh. And I'm here to tell you, Yahweh has all power. Yahweh said to Moses, go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart. Can you imagine that? Look, I want you to go to Bush, but I have fixed Bush where he's not going to hear you. That you already hard headed. 
Can you imagine being told that up front? She said, hey, what's the need of me going to talk to Bush? He's a Republican. I'm a Democrat. He's not going to hear me. And I tell you up front, he's not going to hear you. That's what Yahweh told Moses. Moses, I want you to go to Pharaoh and say these words to him, but I have hardened his mind against anything you say. And not only that, you're not going to get any sympathy for anybody that works for Pharaoh. You know how sometimes uh, one, one group said, well, see, it's not me. It's the boss. Y'all heard that one? You know, I'm not prejudiced myself. It's, it's them. So here we see that the servants and Pharaoh had the same mentality. Now why would I do, why would Yahweh do such a thing to Moses? It's so that you could tell in the ears of your son and your son's son the things that I have done in Egypt. And my sign which I have done among them. Moses, I'm doing all these things so that you will know that I am Yahweh. 